My name's Andy Mayer and I'm going to give you a quick tour of our new Hazardous Area Rescue Ambulance. It actually has an exoskeleton. This protects the vehicle when actually traversing narrow tracks. Anything that was actually fire prone has been replaced and redesigned. We have the external spray which keeps the glass cool. The screens have been positioned around the vehicle to protect all the glass. The vehicle um, is an off-road vehicle, it's a four-wheel drive. This allows it to go into just about any type of environment. The Haras have a unique radio system. The standard black one here is for standard ambulance use, the yellow and green ones, so we can maintain contact with Royal National Park and RFS. The red handpiece works off a satellite system. This allows us to be able to contact the normal standard ambulance if we are out of reception. It comes with its own filtration system, which filters out most of the airborne bacteria and particles. So in the module of the vehicle, we have our standard medical pack, our Oxyviver. There's a fire blanket for each person in the vehicle. Our new core pulse monitor. The rear module is able to house five people, so four seated patients and one stretcher patient. Internally, we also have fire rated curtains that actually reflect the heat. The stretcher itself is a manual stretcher. Um, however, the loading and, and offloading of the stretcher is actually operated by a winch system. Yeah, once the stretcher is unloaded, we load the patient onto the stretcher and with the second operator, we reload the stretcher back into the Hara. Hara vehicle will allow us, paramedics, uh, to safely access, treat and extricate patients in those hazardous type of environments such as flood and bushfires.